What's up, everybody? Ben Fredericks with OdellBarnesREO.com. Coming back to you today with a lesson on becoming the bank. All right. So why is it important for you to become a bank? Well, you need to quit selling your time. All right. So if you're a real estate uh, flipper or wholesaler, you're investing a lot of time into doing those kinds of work. Okay. Unless you've got some sort of an automated system or uh, team that works for you, which is great if you've got that. But you need to also start leveraging that to build a portfolio of income producing assets. Remember in one of our other videos, we talked about the power of inflation and how it's going to keep your income down over time. So we have to find, have to find ways to actually increase that income so that you can combat inflation and then buy your time and create, you know, the income that you want in the future. So let's take a look quickly at how banks do it. They're basically going to take your income from your paychecks, whatever you deposit, into the bank, and then what do they do with it? They put it back out on the street, right? They put it out there as many times as they can and create new assets and debt. So they do that by putting it into homes, into cars, new businesses. So let's take the same concept and let's become the bank. How do we do that? Well, let's say, for instance, you're a house flipper and you say, all right, well, I'm going to take the income from that I made from this last flip, I'm going to put it into the bank. Now I'm going to take some of that back out and put it into maybe my next deal, but I'm also going to reserve some of that money and put it into something that I can create assets for myself and create some debt that I can put out on the street. All right. So now all of a sudden you've got homes that you can own or finance. And these homes are going to kick off monthly income to you. Okay. And that money you just put right back to work for yourself. Okay. So this is exactly what banks do. So why not be like a bank, right? So the idea is, is to create enough assets and create enough debt that it supplies all of your monthly income needs, you know, for as long as you should live. And the best thing about real estate is it's real. I can touch it. I can hold it. I can control it. Mutual funds, I have no control. Stocks, I have no control. I don't. I can never get to the owners of those companies, to the president, to the CEO, to say, hey, what are you doing with my money? All I get is a prospectus at the end of the year that shows me, hey, this is what we did. It worked or it didn't, all right? So you've got to put your, if you want to have real ultimate control of your money, then you have to make real estate a part of your portfolio. All right. If we can help you do that, we would love to. We can even help be a bank for you. So if you don't have $50,000 to buy a property, guess what? You can leverage our income and our debt to become a real estate investor. Ask us how at odellbarnesreo.com and shoot us a direct message right there on our website or visit us on Facebook. Just search us out at Odell Barnes REO. Thanks.